Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a cabbage cake. I started out by coloring some fondant with purple food color, and it's the perfect cabbage purple, or red. Now I'll stack some vanilla cake and carve it into a half sphere. While I'm doing that, have you guys had a look at my merch lately? We have some new designs, and I just added kid sizes. So head over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com to get some. So now that the cake is carved, I'm gonna cover the outside in some green buttercream. Twenty minutes later. I put it in the fridge to firm up for about 20 minutes, and once chilled, I can easily flip the cake over and frost the bottom. I cut out a white circle of modeling chocolate, and I'm placing it on top. This is like a protective layer that'll keep any of that buttercream from oozing out. I'm taking some of that purple fondant that I colored earlier and I'm rolling it out very, very thin. And then I'll do the same with some white fondant. That's right, you heard me correctly. I know modeling chocolate is my typical go-to, but I'm using fondant for these swirls. Now I sandwich the fondant, purple, white, purple and roll it out even thinner, and then I cut it into long strips. And look at that. It looks like shredded cabbage. Let's shred some more. Now I take the cake back out of the fridge and I start applying the strips to the cake. This is fun. The shape and the swirl of each strip is totally random, so I don't have to think about it too much while I place them on. I'll just make sure that some areas are more tightly packed than others, but for the most part here, I'm just winging it. The cross section of the core and the stem is solid white, so I place a triangular shape of modeling chocolate where the core would be and add a few thick white stems branching off of it. For the tightly packed areas, I crimp together some of those purple and white strips of fondant, and then I place them on the cake. I really love the way this looks. It looks just like cabbage, but it also looks really pretty. Almost like a purple hedge maze. Now I'll flip the cake face down and cover it in white modeling chocolate. And then I'll add a layer of purple fondant. So basically, the white chocolate is kind of like a pair of Spanx for this cake. <laughs> it's like keeping everything nice and tightly in place. And then the purple fondant is like the pretty dress that goes over top. <laughs> then I flip the cake over one last time and I sculpt some leaf texture into that fondant. I'm painting some dark purple shadows into the cracks and I'm outlining a few areas. Adding that dark purple helps to give the cake more dimension. So I know I've been saying that I'm using purple fondant throughout this entire video, which would make you think that I'm making a purple head of cabbage, which technically it is, but similar to a red onion, which can sometimes appear to be more purple, these cabbages are called red cabbages. And that's because the redness of the cabbage is affected by the pH in the soil that it grows in. So in soil that's more acidic, the cabbage leaves will grow more reddish. But in more neutral soils, they grow more of this purple color. So I guess that the cabbage that I used as a reference for this cake was grown in neutral soil. It's pretty interesting. And there you have it, a red cabbage cake. I love the swirls, it's so cool. And now on to my favorite part, let's cut the cake. If you like this video, please like this video below and subscribe to this channel right now because I post a new cake every week. And don't forget, we now have kids sizes. So check out our merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com and I'll see you next week for another cake.